Today we're going to be looking at three different precursor based mods that I found on Nexus the other day because, you know, why not? So without further ado, let's get into it. I don't know why I'm holding this fish either, but you know, he looks kind of funny. All right, so here we are at our first precursor base. This one's called the Ion Cube Storage, which is also the name of the mod. So yeah. So this is a smaller, smaller size precursor base as we can see, and there's a bunch of creatures around it. There's a bunch of creatures and other extra stuff around it. So let's look at that stuff first. So if we look around, we can see that there's a whole bunch of de-extinction creatures around here because I have the de-extinction mod. Ow, my freaking ears. Got a random bone shark in the mountains biome. I'm not sure what he's doing way out here. There's a magnetite deposit, okay gel stacks there's also some reaper leviathans around this area but they're kind of like frozen in the air as we can see there's one there's one right there but he, like, he's not me. moving he's just kind of like stuck there i don't know what's wrong with him i don't know if he's frozen out of fear or what but anyways there's a bunch of barnacles all over this precursor base and some extra rocks so we can assume that this one's a bit like a bit older <laughs> oh my gosh it looks like heaven in here oh my goodness we got a fat ion cube deposit right here we have one two three four five six ion cubes that you can pick up and then we look to the left we got two ion power cells look to the right we got three ion batteries dude come on now and then we got some purple tablets to the left and right yo character stop looking at it stop you know what it does get that out get that on my face i'm gonna take these absolutely what the freak and then we have a data terminal right in the middle but who the freak cares about that when you got all these all these extra goods in here and like what the heck i don't know what this dude's doing right here though doing the macarena on the ground but yeah that's about the only that's the only part that you can actually enter in this facility because again this facility is a bit smaller in nature but it's it's packed with goodies, I can tell you that much. They get some super useful stuff coming here, not only inside the facility, but also around it. It's just, it's just nothing but gel sacks out here. I'm not sure why. So yeah, I think we've looked at about everything that this area has to offer and adds it to the game. So again, this is the ion storage precursor facility added in by this mod. Super cool, super cool. And with that, we're gonna head on to our next, per I don't know what I was about to say. We're gonna look at our next precursor facility added by these mods. Okay, it would appear that I'm stuck inside of the next precursor base. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Let me out, let me out please. Moving on to the next precursor facility added in by these mods. The next one we have is going to be the Meteor Research Facility, which is, I believe this is in the Dunes biome, if I'm not mistaken. So this base is found in the Dunes biome where the giant like little meteor crater is. And, you know, sitting right above that crater, we can see that there's a fat precursor facility. And then we have a bunch of lights around the meteor because again, this is a meteor research facility. So they're obviously gonna be studying the meteor that they're, you know, that they built their precursor base sitting above. Maybe they'll be able to find, I don't know, the freaking golden arrow from jojo inside of that meteor but where is the entrance to this precursor base let me find the entrance so we can get inside all right so i found the entrance we're gonna head on inside let me see if it'll let me walk around or am i gonna be swimming again we're gonna be swimming again all right it's all right we need our flashlight let's explore okay so we have a data terminal to the right ion cube I am oh my gosh, more heavenly bodies. We got two ion cubes and a fat, another fat ion cube deposit sitting right here at the entrance. Like, we're being blessed. We're being blessed. There's no other way to, no other way to put it. Let's continue on. Hello, peeper. I'm not sure what your business is in here, but I need you to, wait, that's it? All right, it looks like that was it for this little precursor base. It, it looks are deceiving. This base is a lot smaller than I thought it was. It looks super big on the outside, you know, but you head on inside. And it's like one corridor that sort of stretches all the way through. I wasn't expecting that, but you know, still a cool little precursor base to explore nonetheless, because there is an ion cube deposit in here, which <laughs> we love. We love ourselves some ion cubes. One of the more rare resources in the game. So, so yeah, I think that's about all there is to this meteor research facility. It was a little bit smaller than I was imagining at first, but you know what? That's okay. That is a okay it still looks super awesome from the outside and there's some super cool stuff on the inside as well because you know ion cubes are always yummy oh no i just I, I think i just crashed my game trying to oh my goodness all right next mod let's 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 get to the next mod before i break something else oh what the crap i can't see nothing okay i had to turn the fog off i'm sorry i had to turn the fog off real quick i spawned in i couldn't see jack all right so this is our last precursor base that we have on today's list this is called the precursor void I think it's called the Precursor Void Research Facility. Let me check. Let me check. I don't want to get someone's mod wrong, you know, and get improper credits. Precursor Void Exploration Base. That's the name of this mod and the name of this Precursor Facility. Look at the freaking Warframe. Look at him looking, looking for, looking for victims. Yep, he got a victim. He claimed somebody's life. All right, anyways, got this little thingy right here. I never knew what these were, like, to be honest. I think they're in the inactive or active lava zone. 
but I don't know what they actually do. This base also like sort of like hangs over the void, kind of. It like hang, hangs like just in the void. So let's say if these support beams break, this base is gonna go straight down and it ain't gonna stop going down till some eat it probably. So we got this little pedestal type of area over here. I don't know what you would even do in this little spot, but you know, it's here. Yo, Warpers, I know this is where y'all reside and stuff, but there's no need for all that teleporting. This base is massive. We have another little box right here. It doesn't really do anything. All right, let's head on inside of this precursor facility. See what's inside for us. Hopefully more yummy ion cubes, because that'd be lovely. All right, so we got this massive precursor facility on the inside. Everything's nice and detailed, as the precursor bases typically are. We have an ion cube over there. That's nice. Another one. <laughs> Another ion cube. I love it. Ooh, two more. Ain't that nice? That <laughs> Two more ion cubes. To the right, and then to the left. We are now inside of this big old moon pool. Now, because we're in the void, the colors of this little pool is kind of like, they're kind of getting thrown off a little, but it's a, in a good way, I would say, because everything looks kind of like blue wish whenever you're further away which looks kind of cool i mean look at this this looks this looks awesome you know i i like that i like the way this looks dang i wonder could the atlas fit in you know what let's take a tiny tiny little detour slash break i want to see if the atlas can fit in here there we go now we're inside boom perfect fit well as perfect as we're gonna get i guess i can't turn around though so let's just hope that the atlas isn't is it too long oh well the atlas is too long to fit inside this moon pool because you know the tail end will not go up over that um like this little archway right here the atlas is unfortunately suffering from too much success it's okay though let's explore the rest of this facility i just wanted to see if that would uh if that would work we got a purple tablet over here on a really creepy looking pedestal because this pedestal is completely black in the midst of everything being detailed around it unless you shine a light on it so kind of ominous purple tablet might not want to pick it up because it might curse you or something i don't know what kind of what kind of diseases they put on that purple tablet but yeah keep looking keep looking oh my gosh oh my gosh is that another one it's another why is it black over here oh it's just a wall okay look at this beautiful beautiful ion cube deposit right there now let me get the atlas out of here before we before we end this video we're gonna get the atlas out and we're gonna try and see if we can park the other two giant submarines in this moon pool yeah atlas you gotta step aside you're suffering from too much success and you know what that's okay you know we'll get you a size reduction eventually but until then you have to stay back stay back before you hurt somebody yo the seal ain't gonna fit i can already tell the seal ain't gonna fit in there but we gonna we still gonna try it just to see i mean bro this junk is not fitting in here i know it's not yeah no nah, we knew that was happening the freaking the sides are too wide and he has too big of wings to fit in here this conversation is crazy bro the seal is too wide the atlas is too long and but the cyclops is just the right length crazy i know it's gonna i know it's gonna fit too hold on let me let me try to put it in here bro pause all these statements bro <laughs> we gotta <laughs> We gotta pause all these statements. Do not take none of this out of context. We're talking strictly about submarines, submersible vehicles underwater. Yeah, with precision and ease. Yo, Cyclops, bro. N rough entry. What's going on, bro? All right, there we go. All right, we're inside. Yeah, the Cyclops was able to fit in here. That's That would make a nice thumbnail, actually. Anyways, those are three different precursor facilities added by, you know, three different mods as we all saw. All of these mods sort of fit perfectly within the areas that they get put in you know you got the research the meteor research facility sitting right over the meteor and the crater you know that looks awesome because it fits dang near perfectly you got this void research facility that hangs just inside the void but still attached to like another biome so it sort of just like sits right into it just far enough you know for them to have like a little launching point for void exploration which is what the purpose of this facility would have been and then you have the ion cube storage you know just like a smaller like little vault essentially although it did look like it got broken open <laughs> probably by me because i went in there and took all those ion cubes okay and i just glitched my game out that's cool and now i'm swimming above the water okay whatever that's about all i had for y'all thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you all in the next one peace and i hear a warper he's probably getting ready to teleport me somewhere what a freaking loser